Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to go over how to install the motion sensor for your home kit on Raspberry Pi. So first command you want to run is cd slash home slash pi. This gets us to the main uh, Pi directory. The next command you want to run is sudo wgo.gl slash gjx2dp. It's important that the case is um, correct, uh, a capital G, X, and a P. And so this takes about a few seconds and uh, there you go, you can see it says uh, ggx2db saved. Make sure it says raw.github in the screen somewhere. That means it downloaded from the correct source. And then the next command you want to run is sudo sh gjx2db, just like before, the case has to be correct. And this is the installation script. This takes about a few uh, minutes. So let's take a look at the wiring. Okay, so this is the wiring diagram for the uh, motion sensor. You want to connect 5 volts from your Pi to the power pin on the uh, PIR sensor. You want to connect the middle pin of the PIR sensor, that is the sensor pin, to uh, GPIO BCM22 or physical pin 15. And then you want to connect the ground from the PIR sensor to any ground pin on the Raspberry Pi. In my case, I am using pin 9. Okay, so once the installation is complete, you will see the message, completed installation of motion sensor, as you can see here. And so next command you want to run is cd hap nodejs slash accessories, and you want to click enter. This takes us to the accessories folder, run the ls command, make sure you can see the motion sensor file. The next command you want to run is sudo nano motion sensor underscore accessory.js, click enter. This takes you to the motion sensor and uh, motion sensor file. Just go through it, make sure everything's fine. Then use Control X to exit the file. Run the command cd dot dot to exit that directory. And the next command you want to run is sudo node, whichever type of core you're using. In my case, I'm using core.js. So once you've typed in the type of core you're using, click enter. And after a few seconds, it should start up. And there you go. So currently, I'm waving my hand over the sensor. You can so you can see it says updated status to true. And so I removed my hand, it says to false, and this is the type of uh, action you should be seeing. I'm going to skip through after I've done a few tests. So I've done a few tests here. You can see true, false, true, false. I made sure it's working. Uh, so I use Control C to stop it. Um, if you uh, use my uh, reboot tutorial, that's in the description, to have it start up automatically at boot. And uh, that's about it, guys. Um, use my pairing tutorial to pair this to your phones as well. And so now I'm going to show you how this looks on a phone. Okay, so while pairing, you can see it says motion sensor. So uh, when pairing, remember the default pairing code is 03145154, and then it should say pairing. Okay, so once it's paired, you can see um, secondary motion sensor, and it says triggered because I was waving my hand over to uh, trigger it. And yeah, you can set your own automations in the home app. And if you ask Siri about the status of the sensor, it tells you the status as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to subscribe.